My name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill, the lovely lady holding the camera. That's Trish. She's going to say hi to you a whole bunch during the show. Come on back here. Uh, we're going to get everything turned on while that finishes up. By the way, check this out. You got to see this. We're going to talk a little bit about this. I got my uh, Maverick BT 600 uh, thermometer going here, and uh, it's perfect. I set my uh, temperature for 175. It's at 176. It's beep, beep, beeping. We'll talk more about that in a second, but at least now I know that everything's done. Here we go. And what's cool about this, uh, the range on this is fantastic. Look, all the way to the other side of the yard. Works perfect. Guys, a 300 foot range is just really perfect. So let's wander on back here. So today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some uh, smoked chicken sandwiches. But, you know, we smoked first, gotta do that, right? So you're gonna give yourself two or three hours ahead of time to get this done. Uh, sprinkle it however you like. We have all kinds of our favorites. You're gonna have yours. So our bacon is pretty much ready to flip over. Look at that. If you just let it be, let it be, let it be. It gets so crispy. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So uh, one of the things that we did here, guys, is on our Blackstone, which has three burners. We're cooking on two sides, and then I left this burner off, so that way we can slide some stuff over when it's all nice and cooked. Now, the bacon I don't care much about because I want to go ahead and give it one of these. If we were in a restaurant, right, the, sandwich, the sandwiches that we were going to make, they put like some pretty big slices of bacon on top so it looks, you know, good for the picture. But we're at home, right? Listen, if I can get, you know, uh, two or three chews into it, <laughs> like a chopped salad, I'm pretty happy. So let's just go ahead and mix all of this together because it's going in the same spot anyway. Look at how golden that is. So let's move that down a little bit. Like I said, all of your pre-stuff here, uh, or any dish you do, uh, things like bacon, buns, stuff like that, go ahead and do that ahead of time because what ends up happening is you get like all ready, your chicken's done, and all the important stuff's done, then you go pick up the buns, you're like, oh, by the time you get to it, something's burnt, something's, yeah, I don't know, it's me. maybe that's just me. <laughs> uh, so what we decided to do today was doing, uh, combining a few things that we love to do, smoking foods, making sandwiches, and we've even got a healthy side in here for you. I know it's so unlike our show. So we're not going for crazy with the crispy, so we're gonna put that over there. That's kind of where I want it, just like that. And I feel like I said, we didn't turn this burner on, so that's gonna keep everything nice and warm. The buns are perfect. Butter your buns, you get results like that. You understand, butter your buns. Take a second, it's all right. You don't need a lot of butter, doesn't have to drown, but if you want it to look like that, butter is the only way to go. It's your only friend. Listen, if you're missing that restaurant experience, you can recreate it at home. Doesn't take much, these are like 35 cents each. Uh, so hey, here's the big star, uh, uh, is our smoked food. And by the way, we've been talking about Maverick thermometers all month, right? Uh, this is one of their best. The BT600, BT stands for Bluetooth. That means that it goes right to your phone, man. Look at this. So there's no second piece. There's no other thing to take care of. There it is. Isn't that cool? Right, you can do four probes at one time. I'm actually gonna show you that because this is kind of cool. If you are serious about it, these guys are serious about it. Look at this. Four probes, comes with two. You can get two extra if you want, if you're, uh, you know, if you're, if you're that level of barbecue guy. You got the three buttons on the back. They all feel great. I mean, it's not one of these ones where you, you snap it once and you're like, oh, this isn't gonna last. These guys build stuff great. You've got uh, the little waterproof seals there and rubber gaskets on all of your probes. So if you're doing something out in the rain, we don't stop grilling for rain. We don't stop grilling for snow, right? So have something that works for you. Like I said, uh, uh, works up to I think like 300 feet. Fantastic, I love it. All right, so that's that. Always have a thermometer, without a doubt. Like training wheels if you're new, and uh, if you've been doing this for a while, the, the freedom this gives you to wander around your property while things are being taken care of. Oh man, I love it. Okay, so come on around here. Let's have a peek. What in the world did we have this stuck in? Oh, well that looks pretty good. That's the pulled chicken part right there. And I am going to risk uh, uh, injury limb from limb from pulling it while it's hot, right? Why not? Let's do that. Yeah, now, normally, if you let this cool for about 10 minutes, just kind of use your bare hands or some claws or something like that. But we aren't going to make you sit there and stare at chicken cooling for that amount of time. We like you too much. If you're going to take the time to smoke some food and do some big meats, make a little extra because you can do so much with this when it's done, right? And, uh, you know, depending on what you've uh, got going on, it can be a fairly big time commitment. So, you know, you don't have to do it just for a couple of pieces of chicken or just for one steak or burger. You know what? Throw on some stuff that maybe you've had in the freezer for a while. That's a good way to do it. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of meat in the back. It's always great smoked. Make sure that that's not in there too long. I love it. All right, there we go. 
now we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the bowl. We're gonna use this bowl for a couple of things. This and the uh, uh, cauliflower, so I have no problem using the same one, pick up a little bit of flavor in there. So here's what we're gonna do. I like to have the, uh, the protein on this if I'm doing something pulled, whether it's a pork or a chicken, to have it a little on the crispy side. So we're gonna go right from the smoker onto the griddle, and this is where you can kind of tear it up, shred it up, get it out there, especially if you've taken it on hot and you don't want to uh, kind of take the time to let it cool. But you can see the effect that the wood pellets had on the outside. We went skinless with this, so you can see that, right? That flavor, that deep, deep, deep golden brown, when you take the effort to smoke and take the effort to put the wood in, that's the result you get, baby. It's beautiful. You get that color, you get that taste, you get that flavor, you get that reward for all the time you spend doing this. There we go. Oh, I love it. That's nice stuff. All right, so we got the chicken going. Let's keep that. Now, I'm going to kind of let this go in one spot for a second because I do want to pick up a little bit of that crunch in every bite. You know what I mean? So let's get there going. All right, so now let's talk about our side. We have cauliflower. Love this stuff. All right, it's a little plain, which means you can kind of do anything you want with it, pick up any flavors you want. So right off the bat, I've parboiled it. Now parboiling means that you've partially cooked it so you don't leave it up to the flat top. To do all of it, I'm gonna go ahead, give a little bit of oil trish, just like that. There we go, and a dusting of cornstarch. So that should pick up the oil on the griddle and give us a little bit of a crisp when we bite down on it. This is kind of a neat side dish. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's on the healthy side, which is kind of fun and unusual for us. <laughs> and at the end of it, it's pretty darn tasty. So there we go. Guys, check this out. We're starting to get that browning and that crisp. Oh, that's good stuff. Pretty soon, we'll separate this into some piles for our sandwiches. There we go. That's the funnest thing to make, man. Doing a little bit of smoked food and then getting your sandwich on. I love doing that. There we go. You guys get all nice and crisp for us. All right, so let's go ahead here now and let's separate ourselves into four ample piles. And that is going to be our sandwiches. There we go. Look at this. Oh, it's one of the things I love about griddle cooking. You can kind of do this here and then just uh, bring it over in one pot, especially if you're going to melt cheese on it. If you're melting cheese on it, it likes a lot easier. There we go. I want to get these piles close together so I can use my hood. There we are. These are going to be some substantial sandwiches. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no one's going hungry for lunch. Oh, look at what we're picking up on the bottom of this cauliflower, you guys. This is beautiful. See that? that browning starting to happen. Oh, man, a little bit of crisp. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, uh, cheese and blue cheese dressing and hot sauce to go on that. It's something. All right, so now let's go ahead and divvy up. It's rationing time, like the Hunger Games here. There we go. I'm hungry. That ain't no game. There we are. Perfect. I'm going to shout out one more time to our iChef thermometer by Maverick. Our chicken's perfect. I love having a good thermometer that I can count on. There we are. Oh, yeah. There we go. One more. That was pretty smooth. Let's do that one again. Oh, yeah. That'll look good to get it. There it is. All right. So we got all that going, all that going, all that going, and all that going. The only thing that I'm missing is cheese, please. Here we are. Have a hood too. These are fun. I'm not going to put a little liquid under there because I think we've got enough steam to melt that on its own. And I'm not going for that smash burger kind of melt. So here, look at this. We've got that crisp that we want on our cauliflower. That is really cool. Uh, listen, just because something's healthy doesn't mean it can't be tasty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of those baskets and kind of lay them out the way that we would normally lay them out. And then uh, we'll let you guys go finish off a couple here. We got some hungry kids inside we want to tend to. So here's what we're going to do with the cauliflower. So in the bowl that had the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and put the cauliflower back in. A little bit of that spice from the chicken is going to be in there. There we go. And I always like carrying those flavors over just a little bit. A little bit there. And a little bit like that. So now what we're going to do here we go. This is where I move around all over the place. Now we're going to take a little bit of chicken spice and chicken rub. And we're going to use that in there, just like that. I love doing that. Now, hot sauce. There we go. Remember, this is buffalo style. It goes really well with any kind of chicken dish you do. So we're going to give that a little bit of a toss. These go right in those side dishes, like 
like that, and then you watch how we're going to finish this off. This is a fantastic side dish. Here we go. Now, it's not a buffalo wing type of flavor without that last little bit that we know we shouldn't eat, but we do it anyway because it's the best part. Here, let's get a little bit of that blue cheese drizzle just over the top. A little more over there. There we go. Don't drown it. That should be perfect. All right, Trish, actually, I want to try one of these. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mmm. If you're going to side, that's good. All right, here we go. This guy over here. We got him. And let's do one more and follow him right over. You ready? We're going to go right from the griddle over to the bun, just like that. And then... We're gonna thank everybody for taking a little bit of a uh, break with us today for lunch. Like I said, fire up one of them smokers if you got the time, load it up, because you can always use it throughout the week, especially if you're hanging out on a Sunday. If you have one of these griddles, it's a great way to do things. You can get everything going at once. Oh, too much fun. And always, 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 have a thermometer. Maverick makes the best ones out there. Guys, my name's Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. We appreciate you guys joining us. Give us a like, give us a follow. We'll see you next time.